everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here. Today we have an unboxing from Diamond Shop. That's what that's from. And I just want to say I'm really excited to get into this because this is actually a gift. So a subscriber of mine named Jen, she contacted me via message and said that she wanted to send me something. And I was like, really? Cool. Thank you. And then I got a gift card for Diamond Shop and I was so excited. Now it took me a while, admittedly, it took me a while to make a purchase with the gift card because I have been looking at the website for so long and trying to decide, you know, which painting do I want? And anyway, we're gonna get into it. Just a quick note, um, Diamond Shop changed their shipping methods so they now ship with FedEx, which makes it a lot cheaper to ship the paintings. However, <laughs> um, as I have learned this morning, FedEx likes to charge me customs fees. Oops, sorry. So it likes to, they like to charge me pretty heavy customs fees. I have to pay 23% of the value that's written on the side of the package. So this one shouldn't be too bad, but if I were to make a bigger purchase, then I'm looking at a pretty hefty fine or fee rather to get diamond paintings. And so this is actually happening with a lot of other things that are coming through the mail for me recently as well, which is probably good timing because I need to chill out on the buying, but it's kind of sad as well. So I just have to factor in the extra cost for diamond paintings if I want to purchase more and the carrier is FedEx. But if you live in America, if you live in the United States, it's probably probably not too bad. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't get customs charges from FedEx, but I could be wrong. Anyway, if you're interested, um, Rowana from Diamond Shop, she does packing vlogs, which she now calls Unpacking Rewind, Packing Rewind, something like that. So I think the one, I'll link the one up here where she packed this up. And that's one thing about Diamond Shop is that your order is packed on camera so you can watch it be put together. And I just think it's kind of nice that she goes to all that extra trouble. Um, I know how much work that is, so I really appreciate it. And yes, I'm going to keep the paper this time. <laughs> I hope everybody watching is having a great day so far. Let's see. The box is so nice. Oops. So I did receive a small gift card for the excess shipping costs that I paid for when I made the purchase. So I do have another small gift card available to me for my next purchase, but I honestly don't know when that'll be. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I keep eyeing those bead boards. She makes these beautiful um, multi tray bead boards and paints them herself. And there's one with like moths that I really love, but anyway. So this is a really nice box that it came in. They always come shipped rolled up like that. Nice. The box is empty. And wow, there's a new border around the edges of their painting. That's nice. It's so pretty like that. You could probably just put it on the wall. Wow, cool. Yeah. Do you see this? So this is the legend where you would have it on the side of the canvas, it's not on the canvas. That is a cool idea. So you can just hang it right on the wall. Guys, mind blown. Okay, no need to frame. So here's the picture that I asked for. It's called Sleeps with Butterflies. And I'll put the artist name right here. It's a 50 by 64 and it is gorgeous. Look at these beautiful drills, pinks, purples. I know it's really, really kind of, it's not a great lighting day again, but 
they are some pretty colors. Oh, I'm so excited to work with these. So I have this one and now I have I have this one and I have February. So I'm I'm excited to uh, to try them out. Here's their toolkit. How cute. I like the new organza bag. It ha oh sorry, it's all there we go. I'm starting to collect these. <laughs> We've got two drill pens, some tweezers, two green boats, a piece of wax, and is that a seven? Oops. And a seven placer. Awesome. That comes in the toolkit. That's nice then. If you have two pens and two boats, you can do it with another person. If you have family members or friends who want to diamond paint with you. And that's great for a first timer as well. Let's look at this beautiful canvas. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I went with this size. <laughs> no. Wow, she's beautiful. Guys, that's awesome. I love that they don't have the legend on it. I thought that that would be, like for an instant, in my mind, I was like, oh, there's no way that's gonna work. But actually, like, it does? I can just put this up on the wall. You could diamond paint it on the wall. <laughs> that's really, really beautiful. Wow, I love the detail. Okay, let's have a look, because I know that some people are probably freaking out about these, what looks like rivers, but Diamond Shop uses like a, a poured glue, so there are no rivers in the glue at all. Those little bubbles are from it being rolled. There's nothing wrong with that glue at all. It's really sticky. And there's a little bit of shimmer to it too. I'm gonna bring you down to the flowers and the butterflies. So here's a close up of the symbols. They are really clear. There are no training wheels. This is a round diamond painting. And you can see here that it looks like they are square but they're not. The background color is the color that should be behind the drill so that when you stand back, those little gaps between the drills will be this, a similar color to the drill itself. I really, really like what they've done here. I like the symbols. They are super clear. They have it where, just move this, a dark color like this M M is 310, so they've used a white letter on a dark background, and they've done that all through this blue area as well. And then if we look at a butterfly, move. Oops. It's really nice. There's a decent amount of confetti and it's gonna give it that realistic look. I'm really enjoying that. Okay, let's back out again. The artist's name is Margaret Morales. She has an entire collection of beautiful, beautiful diamond paintings available at Diamond Shop and they're exclusive to Diamond Shop as far as I know. Um, I do know that Diamond Shop is paying their artists a commission for their paintings, so it is good to see that the artists are getting a kickback and that their paintings are getting the best treatment possible, just like other diamond painting companies, which is fantastic to see. I really enjoy it. I love this canvas. It's super thick and sturdy. I think that it's actually a really, really nice way to have a diamond painting. Like, I cannot explain to you 
other than it just feels like a proper piece of canvas. So it's very durable. The glue is super sticky and poured. I have not yet worked on a diamond shop painting, but I've heard that their drills are excellent. I'm gonna open this up a little bit and see, look like this. Sleeps with butterflies, 50 by 64, and then my name. Isn't that amazing? And there's all these baggies inside. They're all ordered by DMC number. I'm just gonna pull out this last little baggie. And apologies for my nails, guys. I just had the the Halloween stuff taken off. Isn't it gorgeous? Like, they're super duper shiny. No issues with those drills at all. And I'm confident that they are gonna be just fine. If there's any issue, I know that I can contact the shop directly and they would be more than willing to help me, which gives me a lot of confidence as well because I've heard so many good things about their shop from other people here on YouTube who buy a lot of diamond shop like Diamond in the Rough and Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. So I really like this. What do you think of this? The legend being on the side. This is canvas material. This legend is made of canvas material. It's just not on the painting itself. I know that might be a little bit nerve wracking to some, but if you're going to use like, for instance, a label maker, that would be great. Um, and if you don't, you could always use this to do the inventory of the drills to make sure that you have everything that you need, because it does tell you, you know, here at the DMC, the number of colors is 45 colors in this painting. There's no AB drills or anything like that. I didn't ask for any special treatment. Um, I just wanted the painting as is, but you can ask when you make Orders. You can ask for electric diamonds and other things to be included. And now they sell AB drills on their own. So another place to get AB drills as well. I love the peonies and her sleeping face. And I believe, I didn't tell you this before, I don't think, but one of the main reasons that I chose this painting is because my grandmother, named Rebecca or Becky, um, she loved butterflies and she passed away when I was, I want to, I want to say I was 18 when she passed. Yeah. 17, 18, 18. I had just turned 18 cause I graduated and she gave me all oh, the places you'll go <laughs> as a graduation present. But unfortunately she passed away that summer and, um, and I miss her dearly. And so when I saw this painting, I mean, I saw all the other Margaret Morales paintings, but I saw this one and I thought she looks so peaceful and beautiful, surrounded by these gorgeous roses and the butterflies. And I thought, you know, she doesn't look anything like my grandma, but it'd be nice to have something that symbolizes my love for her and um, how much I miss her. So yeah, it has a lot of meaning to me and I'm like trying to hold back the tears and not get choked up. But um, guys, if you want to check it out, I will leave a link to Diamond Shop's uh, listing for this painting and you can check it out for yourself. Like I said, this shipping is a lot, lot cheaper than it used to be. I believe that the size of a painting was at the time of my purchase, I believe it was a pre-order. It was $88 for this size and then shipping. And I believe shipping at that time with DHL was $64 US dollars. And hence the reason why I didn't get a second painting at that time. Uh, but now, now that their shipping is much, much cheaper for me, uh, it's much more expensive than for someone who lives in America, but it's still significantly cheaper. We'll just have to see what FedEx has to say about it. 
Um, just as a note, um, anything that is sent, I believe the limit is 25 euro. Anything that says over 25 euro from a company not marked as a gift will be hit for customs charges from FedEx. But I could be wrong. Um, but I have been hit with customs so much lately that it makes me not want to buy anymore. But it's paintings like this that I just really want them, you know, and I want to support small business. I really appreciate the fact that the the business is a family run business. And I love the offerings that they have as well. So gorgeous painting. Can't wait to do it. I don't even I don't even want to take these out. They're just so gorgeous. The color palette is amazing. Super beautiful. There's a lot of, let's see, what is this one? That must be, that's 666. So that's 310, somewhere in between here. I think it's 336. A lot of 336 in there. But anyway, gorgeous blues, pinks, purples, grays. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to doing this painting. Today, as I'm filming, which is... Friday the 1st of November. I am trying to decide what painting I will be doing for the holiday season uh, for a special time-lapse video series that I am creating. It's super secret, uh, but I, I'm really excited for it. So by the time that you see this video, I'm not sure if I will have released this information to you all, but it's in the back of my mind right now and I'm starting to think I might do this one but I'm not sure hey everybody so I'm sticking this at the end of the video because I just received another package and this is from Jen as well so I just wanted to remind everybody I don't know if you saw in the first part it's been a few days since I recorded it but Jen is actually mini diamond girl on Instagram please follow her she's doing a lot of really cool stuff with resin and unmolding and all kinds of stuff and I just watch her videos and get hypnotized <laughs> so it's so much fun to watch those videos and yeah I I love where she's going and what she's doing with her shop so if you're interested in cute little things check her out um thank you so much Jen this is so so awesome so I just I covered her address because it's on both sides and this side is better. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Oh my god. I feel so honored, you guys. Okay. Whoa. Hold on. What's this? <gasps> Dude! Okay. Okay. Hold on. Stop. Let's get let's get in here. Let's get in the business. Oh my goodness, look! You guys, it's a unicorn! Oh, it's a shimmery unicorn with the little hearts inside and stars. Hold on, can you even... Do not look at my nails, y'all. Okay, here we go. <gasps> that is so adorable. Oh my goodness. It's not even really coming out. Hold on. Can I? Can I get you to see this? <gasps> see the stars and the hearts? That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Jen, this is going to be my new paperweight. Because, like, yeah, why not? Okay, I'm going to read the card because, like, there's so many little goodies here, but, like, I couldn't help it. There's a unicorn on top. All right. Ooh, look at the sparkle on that card. Wow. And all the butterflies. So cute. Let me just see. <laughs> oh, my God. Pippa! What? Hold on. Pippa. Oh my God. Thank you. Okay, so Pippa must have actually ordered through Jen. You sneaky, sneaky person, you. Oh my God. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I actually sounded like a unicorn. That was ridiculous. Yay. Oh my God, there's so many good goodies here. What's this? You were born to do good thing, great things, meant to live. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's a bracelet. You know what? I think I've seen these somewhere. Wow, that is so cool. 
Thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Look at that. I think, I think I like this side better. <gasps> I can wear it. It matches my hoodie. I'm actually wearing my, um, Ireland versus, um, Japan rugby sweater. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> that is so nice. Thank you. Is this from Pippa too? Well, thank you, either one of you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, what's this? Lavender goat's milk soap from Mama Fox Oils. <gasps> Beautiful. Let me smell it. Okay, I can't smell it. It's plastic. Oh, my nail. Okay, you guys, just real quick, since it's in this video. Um, I had my holiday nails taken off. And, um, they destroyed my fingers again. So I had to super glue these back on. This one is messed up. And then that one I had to cut way down. So I apologize for my ugly nails. Oh my gosh, that is so nice. I don't know where you can buy Mama Fox oils, but this smells so good. And I bet it's really soft on the hands, too. As soon as... I'm not going to crinkle it anymore. As soon as my current bath soap goes, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with that one. Thank you so much. I love these little organza bags. Okay, whoa. Can you see? So sparkly. Look at the little tassel. It's purple. <gasps> it's a cherry blossom. Oh, how pretty. Oh my gosh. Jen, you are so talented. Please check out her shop. She is testing new things all the time. Look at the shimmer on that. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Like, my camera can't handle it. I love the shimmer, and that's just so gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful. I'm speechless. That's so pretty. Okay, and then last but not least. Oh, I forgot to put this up, put this up, up there. We have stickers. Yay! Oh, guys, I really need... <laughs> I think I'm going to decorate my easel with the stickers. I think I've decided. What do you think? Where should I put all my stickers? Because I know some people said maybe I should put them on the door or something. <gasps> wow, Jen, that is so neat. Oh, my gosh. Look at that hollow girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so nice. Well done. I love that. Ooh, look, this is her card. Come on, phone. Come on. All right, it's confused because it's so shiny. There you go. Mini Diamond Girl, Jen Hearn. Instagram, Mini Diamond Girl. And her email address. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful card. I love that. Slightly shimmery. It's Fuji! Guys, Mount Fuji! Wow. I would recognize that anywhere. <laughs> Very nice. Aww. It's like the love fi. Love fi. Oh, unicorns. <gasps> Look how precious. How beautiful is that hair? Oh my god, I want it. I want it. I need it. Cute. Oh my gosh. My mom would love that one. <laughs> That's adorable. Aww. Look at that guy. He's so happy. Cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. So thank you so much, Pippa and Jen. Thank you. Thanks for putting this together for me. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm, I'm so spoiled. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Please check out Mini Diamond Girl on Instagram. I think right now she's just on Instagram and on email. So if you're interested, maybe if you don't have Instagram, try emailing her, okay? 
Um, but as of right now, that's how she's doing it. And to be honest with you, well, I won't give you my thoughts. I'll give you my thoughts in my whip and chat. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much. And I'm just going to do my ending here. Thank you so much, Jen, for the Diamond Shop gift certificate. I am so excited about that painting. It is beautiful. Thank you, Pippa, for spoiling me with more unicorns. I still have your unicorn. Okay, don't mess this. Don't, don't freak out, but like, I'm going to move you, okay? And try to do it slow. Sneak peek. I need to clean my windowsill, but look. Look, the unicorn is still over there, still chilling on my little, on my little windowsill. Okay, that's, that's enough of a, a behind the scenes thing for you guys. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for being here and watching to the end. If you liked the video, you know what to do, and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye!